good morning. Now I wasn't going to show you me saying good morning this morning because I'm not dressed obviously. Now I have got a mountain of washing to do today. I'm not going to be going down there today. I need to be in the van. I've got too much to do. It cost a fortune anyway. This is, I want to say half of it. Um, the place is an absolute mess. I'm, I'm a little bit getting stressed out today. <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting a, a slow cooker dinner on the go now, quickly. That's washing. There's still washing all in the cupboards. I want to wash my leggings and me, all my Christmas jumpers and stuff. So this is going to be a long day washing, but never mind. We're going to crack on with this. But the first thing I need to do is chop up some chicken for this. But actually, the first thing I need to do is get get into some clothes well that's just really irritating so i've just turned that off because oh so i've been heating the water up all the morning and it turned out anyway we had hardly anything any water so dan's just literally filled the tank up which means now i've got to wait another sort of half an hour 40 minutes for that to heat up and i need a hot wash from my from my bedding all my whites i've had to just strip the bed again Dan made a mess of it with his dinner. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to leave that in now for 40 minutes or so, which will give me time anyway to crack on with some dinner. <laughs> there we go, that was a quick change. <laughs> now I brush my hair, but th this is it. I'm just slinging up in a headband this morning. Just got my baggy jumper on, and I'm actually going to keep my pyjama bottoms on for a minute anyway. Um, till I can get organised. So, yes, so that's really delayed me. What's the time? Oh, I know there's no hurry because now I've got this out, I can actually continue tomorrow. So, it's no massive hurry as such. You know when you smell things. Does any of it? Does this happen to anyone? You feel you feel like you smell maybe fire or something, something burning. This happens to me all or us all the time and then we start panicking i'm sure it's nothing <laughs> right so this is got one two by the looks of it about six breasts of chicken now i'm going to do the whole lot because as i'm doing it i may as well double up and whatever's left can go in a freezer not that i've got much freezer space well i haven't have i but anyway, we'll deal with that. <laughs> right, first things first, let's chop up some chicken. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying now. I can't sort of crack on with this um, washing. But slow down, Mazzy, slow down. I feel like I haven't actually stopped since I got out of the bed and I'm getting sort of hit up about it. It's because I just want to crack on and get it done. Never mind. Mm. Yes, yeah, so how many breasts have we got in here? This one looks massive. One two three four five six six breasts so all i'm going to do is chop all these up cube them up do whatever i'm not a massive fan of the meat when it comes to curries i'm one of these that just i'm quite happy to just have the curry sauce but we'll go with it now these bits i do like to cut these sort of manky bits off oh yeah don't like that I'll get a shot of that and this tiny bit there. Right, this morning I had to clean up their slow cooker. What a nightmare after Dan yesterday with that um, rice pudding. What an absolute nightmare that was. I wish he'd used the bag. <laughs> but it turned out all right. It dried up a little bit. Just needs sort of a bit of milk adding to it when he reheats it. So don't know a bit of a disaster really right, I'm just gonna chop these up and then when it comes because this is such an easy dinner it's just literally one pot one bam thank you ma'am chuck it all in that's all it is so chickens all chopped I'm now gonna add some paste I'm gonna add a big spoonful of curry paste this is just the madras. Might even go a tiny little bit more. But on top of that, I'm going to also add a bit of Findaloo curry paste as well. 
So let's go quite a bit on that as well. All right, there we go. Um, let's give that a mix first, because usually this needs cooking off. But I'm not messing doing it that way today. So as long as it's all coated. go right into that I'm going to do a two of these now if you're just doing enough for one curry one big pot of curry just add one of these but I think I'm going to need two because I want to make sure I've got loads of leftovers to make this worthwhile cooking today <sighs> right, that's one <clears throat> Just give that a stir and see how that's going on. Yeah, we can definitely get two curries out of this. All right, let's add the second one. We had a really big storm last night, worse than the one we had the other night. It, this one was horrendous. Me and Dan both had to get up at half two. Well, Dan was up. I didn't know he was, but all I heard was the fan rocking everything blowing going mental so i quickly jumped up at half two and i was like babe that awning needs taken down so if that had been up five more minutes that would have gone that literally would have gone it was worse than the the night before right so in here i'm just gonna throw a load of a chopped onion now i've just roughly chopped that because i quite like big chunks of onion right, let's put this on i was not even plugged in yet <laughs> Yeah, so this is going to make, this might actually need, because now I'm doubling up, I might actually need to put a bit more paste in this. Yeah, I'm going to put a bit more paste in that as I've doubled up. Now that might seem like a lot of paste in there now. <laughs> but I really want it to be a strong curry flavour, you know. Just give that a good old mix. Mixy do I will do ya. Now at this point you can add anything really, peas, mushrooms, anything. I think I'm just going to keep it like that. Chicken and onion. I've just ripped up roughly quite a bit of coriander just to give it that, that flavour. I'd like to put more in, but I am going to be actually adding more towards the end. So, yeah, that'll do for now. Right, let's get this plugged in and switched on. Right, got my own rice on now as well. So that's just on the go um because it can always reheat that so this is still cold so what i'm going to do is just do a cold wash that i knew that I had to go in there like my christmas jumpers these i mean they're not terribly dirty but just got a bit of makeup around the necks you know <laughs> get them freshened up for um the week coming and get my new leggings in the wash these leggings are amazing like i said i got these off the timu so cozy um yeah i'm just up to my eyeball so let's get some cold washing on the go this is why i need the hot water look for all sort of beddings and stuff right, okay that's coming up to the max line now i'll tell you what <laughs> It really does creep up on top here. You don't realise how much washing you got. It, it really do it does. So I don't know now whether to do one jumper at a time. I think one jumper is just going to be a bit time consuming, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to do one jump. I'm not going to rush this today. You know what, Mazzy? Calm down, relax. <laughs> You've got all day and we've got all tomorrow. Right, so yeah. So let's just turn this on. I always prop that up like that when that's filling. Right, here we go. Oh. What? I'm only joking. <laughs> what are you up to? What are we having? I'm making the curry and rice today. Chicken? Yeah, the chicken needed using. So does the mince. The chicken did more so. I wouldn't have a mince curry. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad I've done one at a time. Right, so can relax a little bit now. Relax, Mazzy. <laughs> it's all good. It's all going good. Dinner's on the go. It's all organised. 
Right, I can't go nowhere now until this is starting boiling. In the meantime, now I know you're all going to shout at me. We've had damp in the van, I know. <laughs> right, but it's going to be so much easier today to have the tumble dryer up on this table. It's just going to be easier <sighs> because of extension lead reasons. I can't go into it. And the only other extension lead I've got is the um, one for the washing machine. All right, let's move a few things. That needs charging. Oh, it's like, it, I can't keep up on top of the batteries or the power, pa power banks in this van either. It literally, oh, that's on charge. It literally, oh, just takes up all my day. Growing about silly little things. <laughs> right, let's go and get a tumble try. <laughs> One jumper down is now in the spinner. I'm now doing my second Christmas jumper and then I can crack on and get some proper washing doing. Um, might be a little bit of hot water now. Got a couple of bits to wash up. Get that in the tumble dryer. Now this, my lovely neighbor, Janet, just popped over. She's actually off on holiday now today. So I hope you both, you and Paul have a wonderful holiday. A bit jelly. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't addressed this video last night that was on the Travel Trolls and if you haven't seen it please go over to the Travel Trolls and watch it. it I never even knew this video was ever going to be released I certainly had no intentions of splitting it up either I, I wanted it to be like a full length documentary I wanted you to see the ups and downs so so far on that there was only just downs <laughs> So, which was a bit, oh, you know, now if I'd continued on filming up until, let's say, another three, four months, then there would have been the highs on that as well. So I'm going to probably then have to do this now in a two-parter. Dan said to me, get it on, get it on. It's, it's brilliant, you know, everyone can relate. And, it, you know, he said to get it on. So that's what we did. But anyway, the lovely Janet, the one who brought me the lovely angel from Prague the other day. <clears throat> Uh, candle angel it's just popped over with this she wasn't being rude or anything and she was just saying that I could borrow this until she comes back and just see if it inspires me see if it gives me any ideas and stuff like that and to look into the actual whole slimming world sort of uh, you know the calculations and stuff now that is brilliant but I'm not going to say whether that's going to work for me in particular but yeah, I do appreciate that, Janet, though. I'm going to definitely be looking into this. But whether I actually want to go onto a proper diet, you know, and count calories and points and stuff like that, I just don't know if that's for me. I don't know. I think mean, when I'm in that zone, I just like to do it the way I like to do it. You, do you know what I mean? And then if you start allowing yourself bits and pieces, then that's when then you, you fail, or I fail, certainly do. So I'm not sure if that's a good idea, you see. Janet was trying to explain to me at the end of the week you get certain points and you can treat yourself then to this that and the other and I don't know if that's a good idea for me because that's obviously how I failed this time isn't it but yeah I was certainly gonna maybe look into this anyway just to get some recipe ideas if nothing else so thank you Janet and thank you all so very much for your wonderful comments actually been so wonderful and quite emotional reading them so thank you right in we go first jumper it's come up lovely and clean tell you what my washing machine i don't care what anyone says is absolutely brilliant it really is right so is this plugged in no it's not even plugged in yet oh no where am i gonna plug everything oh yeah i know it's in the dodgy one isn't it no it's not gonna stay there we go it stays well, so that ain't gonna take long to dry. I don't know if I should do it so hot. No, I'll be all right. No, I'm gonna turn it down to warm. Little update. So I'm on my third load of washing in the tumble dryer. Fourth load of washing in the machine. Still got this dirty pile, that dirty pile. And all I've technically done is actually washed and, washed and dried two jumpers. My two Christmas jumpers not even started on the whites yet <laughs> oh man it's been quite a while as well 
but it still would have been quicker than actually going down there so can't complain right i did ask dan about peas and he's saying that he actually likes to curry with peas so i might chuck the rest of those in let's give it a look mm. that's actually looking really amazing it smells so good as well nice thick and creamy as well chicken's coming along good all right let's get some peas in there then i wasn't too bothered so i don't mind either way let's just chuck them all in it's not a lot so that's going to cool down the whole process now but it's okay it's all good yeah that smells amazing it's so thick and creamy as well oh this is going to be lush i'm definitely having a bit of that tonight I said to dan what we're going to do is um tub up a load of this leftover so what i've done is actually cleaned the fridge outside now the eco flow one our spare, spare fridge and freezer i'm going to turn it into a freezer and hopefully we can then start storing a few things so that'll be good i'm getting through the freezer bits look this has got to leave out of here today because that'll be going with the curry yeah still a bit tight in there though isn't it <laughs> right shut that well it's early afternoon now <laughs> it's cold in here um i'm still up to my eyeballs i haven't even started on the whitewashing yet i will be though in a minute i say in a minute not yet um no i'm gonna do at the minute some you know like when you get like all your pickles and chutneys with a uh, indian i'm gonna do like the onion one so just a bit chopped up onion usually i love a uh, lime pickle i don't actually have any of that <laughs> i think i ate all that the, the other day whenever it was yeah i think that's all gone so just a little bit of onion sort of pickle thing i've got a load of coriander to use so let me just find my little tubs so i want this as cubed up as small as i can and yeah with a curry i do like a bit of mango chutney and lime pickle but we don't have any of that but i also love a bit of raw onion with my curry as well i always remember my father always slapping on a bit of raw, raw onion with me curry right so that's all diced up nice need to chop up some coriander So just give that a rough chop. We also want some to garnish the meals at the end as well. So that's why I'm doing quite a lot of this. Such an easy dinner while having a lot else on today. This slow cooker has actually been amazing. So let's see if we can mix that in with the hat. Mm. I should have done it on the plate really, but I didn't. I didn't have no room. Oh, I love coriander and onion together. There we go. And the mint sauce, Dan always likes the mint sauce as well. The mint yogurt one, if you know the one I mean. I'm gonna put a lot more in mine because I love coriander which is so easy to make it literally is homemade one it's just yogurt plain yogurt like natural yogurt and a spoonful of mint sauce right there we go i'm gonna maybe chop a little bit more up for the garnish right these need to go into the fridge so at this point it's been a long time since i've last vlogged uh did a clip so I've started on the bedding. I haven't got no bedding on my bed tonight. I'm getting a little bit panicky. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm getting totally worn out. Totally worn out. I always get worn out on uh, washing days. I really do. I'm still up with my eyeballs, so that ain't going to be done today. That big pile over there. Although I did drag out tonight's bedding. 
but yeah I'm only now on the quilt cover I've still got to then do another load for the bed sheet which is now on and another load for the pillowcases anyway in the meantime Indian selection onion bargies Bombay potatoes and vegetable balti samosas so we're gonna have a few of those tonight it's gonna be lovely a few little snacky bits uh, Dan's going to have some chapatis and don't forget then we've got the onion little dip thing so that'll be nice as well well I do like chips uh, chips with a curry but because we've got so much going on unless if I portioned it up properly but on the plates yeah, so I don't think I'm going to bother with the chips because we've got a bit too much going on. I, I don't know. I'm still in debate whether to put just a little handful on. I do like chips with me curry. Oh, let me just show you the place. Right. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess. Curry is coming on delicious. It's just, oh, it's, and I've had to keep this open all day, obviously for air and stuff. I uh, can't even put my washing stuff away because I actually had to wash that bag today, my washing bag. So that's all washed and hung, hung, hung up on the line. Uh, just waiting for some stuff in the tumble dryer. Okay, okay, that's nearly filling done. And I've got some stuff in the spinner, I think. Have I got some stuff in the spinner? I do. Right, that's the bed quilt. Let's get this. Oh yeah, I had to put them in because it balances the drum out. They're not actually been washed. And this did actually struggle to wash this in there because it's a bit too big. So let's just hope that this is gonna turn out okay. Just giving it an inspection. So this is the bit up near our pillows. And it's lovely, it's turned out amazing. Considering that didn't really even wash, sort of turn properly in the drum. Yep, that's come out amazing. All right, let's sort this out and swap things over. I really, my goal is to just get that bed made. Ta-da! So the bed is made. I'm relieved now. The bed is made. <laughs> oh, what a day it's been. But I'll tell you what, if I'd still gone down there, it would have taken longer. I've still got all this to do. I still do. I've got a uh, load on in the tumble dryer. Uh, that's practically dry anyway and I've got some pajamas in there so I just want to continue for another little while and try and get as much done today as I can because if not I've got to do it tomorrow because obviously I want to wash all my get up today that I'm wearing today so Dan's just now gone down for my Amazon order ordered myself some new slippers new slippers but I'm gonna keep these ones um, for Christmas Eve with my new pajamas and I'm going to wash these ones. These are my Dun Dunlop ones. I always buy these once a month. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need an outdoor pair and sort of an indoor pair. Now, when I say an indoor pair, I mean from the fan to the awning. So that's an indoor pair for me. <laughs> an outdoor pair means me putting these on, walking down to the office and places like that and into Tesco's. So I do need two pairs. Oh, I tell you what, it's been it has been absolutely horrendously hectic. So what have I done? I've plated up some rice. That's my bundle. Dan's is in there. He's got quite a lot more. Let's just give this a stir, shall we? Haven't checked on this for a while. So it's actually loosening up now. It was actually quite a thick sauce earlier, wasn't it? But that's proper cooked. That is well nice. It's smelling gorgeous. Um, on top of that, I've got, I did actually put a handful of chips on the tray in here and all my um, little bits and pieces. So, you know what? I'm gonna just switch that on. So that's gonna take, I'm gonna do it on a low. So that's gonna take some quite some time. Now I was hoping to get this vlog up tonight but with everything that I'm still in the process of doing, as well as trying to edit this, upload it, it's not going to happen. So this will probably be tomorrow. There's Dan chapatis. I'm gonna sling them in the oven to heat up the last minute. I need to brave man, brave man's Right, there we go. There's my new slippers, they've arrived. 
all right they're not like hard wear well they are they're not as hard wearing as me dunlops i still need like a hard bottom you see but yep nice clean indoor pair of slippies cozy they were actually quite cheap them ones they're about 12.99 on um amazon right so we've got some cards to unwrap so gonna have unwrap those what is going on with my hair <laughs> gonna unwrap those ah oh, open those and see who they're from right so believe it or not this day is getting longer and longer and longer <laughs> Uh, just finished all the tumble drying so I'm about to dish up I'm gonna dish Dan up so I've got rice and two of each things and some chippies are you hungry or starving honey not really what are you hungry or starving oh, some, yeah yeah but yeah you got chapatis with this as well gosh that's a mountain of curry but we're gonna freeze all this up so it's gonna be good it's all good it's all good in hood my rice is just reheating in the microwave oh man what a long day it's been it really has been a long day a bit more sauce oh, that ain't full Dan's just taking my tumble dryer out. Oh, it really has been a long, long, long day. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. That's Dan's dinner. There we go. I'm about to do mine. And we're going to call it a day. So we're going to love you and leave you and see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.